Hey beauties, Britt here from My Sheer Beauty. Today I'm gonna to give you your beauty tip of the day and that is how to pick your eyeshadow colors for an everyday look. Are you ready? All right, so what we are talking about today is how to pick out your eyeshadow for a perfect, cohesive look. I have the tools and the tips for you, so get ready. Here we go. So first of all, we're gonna start with a palette. I have multiple palettes to choose from, but I'm just gonna choose something that is simple. I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Palette because it's basic and it's all neutrals. There's a lot of colors, as you can see. So, when we are picking out our eyeshadows for the day, you're gonna look at three colors specifically. So we wanna look for a light color, a medium color, and then a darker color. So when I look at my eyeshadow palette, and normally most palettes will go from light or light to dark. Yeah, go from light to dark. It usually helps you out. They'll tell you what your light tones are, what your dark tones are. So this is obviously my light tones, and then my medium tones, and then my dark tones. So I'm gonna pick one light, one medium, and one dark. So my light color is going to be this one. It's called Virgin. It's really pretty. It's like a soft highlight. You can't really see a whole lot, so which is perfect. Um, and then we have our medium colors right here. So I'm actually gonna go with the, I usually go with Buck, but I think I'm gonna go with this color called Sidecar, because I think it's really pretty and subtle. So I have um, I have Sin, I have Sidecar, and then my dark color is actually going to be, I'm going to use this one, it's called Hustle. It's like a plum purple, and I feel like it's gonna be really pretty. Okay, so the first thing we need is eyeshadow primer. I got my NS Minerals eyeshadow primer. We're just going to pop that on all over the lid. So you want to first start with your crease. So the medium color goes into your crease. So I'm going to take, my medium color was called Sidecar. So I'm going to take that one. And I have a fluffy crease brush. And what you're going to do is you're going to look straight ahead into your mirror. And you're going to keep your eyes open. You want your head level, your eyes open. And you're going to just sweep it all into the crease. You're going to go back and forth really soft motions. My tip for doing the crease is instead of using your arm and your elbow, use your wrist because it's gonna give you a really good pressure. You do not want it to be really hard. You want it to be really soft and that's why you use a fluffy brush. And then you wanna hold the brush as far back as you can because that gives you a lot more control. So we're just gonna sweep it and we're gonna go all the way so, so our, the end of our eye should match the end of our brow. And you're gonna go just up to that point, and then you're gonna go all the way to the inner corner. You're not gonna go all the way to your nose. You're just gonna go to where the end of your, or the tip of your brow starts. Okay, so keeping your eye open, you're going back and forth, just like that. Do you see the difference already? So putting a medium color into your crease, this is just defining the shape of your eyes. So if you have hooded eyes, the reason why you keep your eyes open is so that you can really define where that crease should be. Some people don't have a crease, some people have an extreme crease or really deep set crease. Um, this will just help you kind of manipulate where like visually it should go. Because if we close our eyes and actually put it in the crease, it's too deep. So when you open your eyes, you don't see it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so next we're gonna use our dark color, and what you want is a domed shape brush. So I have two here that you can see. One is slightly longer. This one could be used as a fluffy crease brush or like a domed outer corner brush, and then this one's just a regular domed brush. So you want something that's small and slightly condensed 
because you're going to want to pick up a lot of pigment. So either one of these is great. I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to swipe, swipe. I'm going to swipe it into my darker color. You're going to take your corner brush and you're going to start on the outside and you're going to sweep up into the crease and then down into your lash line. And you're just making really small strokes. You're not extending it out to the end of your brow either. You're keeping it really, really close and you're just kind of packing that color in because you don't want it to be too extended. Now, mind you, this is just an everyday simple eye look. This isn't anything crazy. It's not anything extreme. So this is just using three colors every day. So I'm gonna take this into my crease, just going back and forth really lightly. And I'm just gonna pat it, blending it into the center of my lid so that it's nice and soft and diffused. You want really small, soft movements and a lot of control. It does take practice, so practice closing your eye without like squeezing them, just resting your eyes closed, because that's the very, very, very important thing to be able to master. Otherwise, you're gonna be like squinty and then you're gonna have to like pull your lid and we don't wanna do that, because that's damaging. And then you're gonna move on to the other side. So what I do is I just pack it on, onto that outer corner, and then very lightly sweep it into the crease. All right, so the next we're gonna take our small eyeshadow brush. This is really small, really little, really flat. So we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna go in with our light color. So I'm using the color Sin. And we are just going to tap that right into that inner corner and blend it onto the darker color that we brought over all the way to the middle of the lid. Okay. Now, if your light color is a little bit more sheer, if you want more pigment on that inner corner of your eye, you can always spray it down with a setting spray. And go like this. Just get it wet. Get it into your shadow and tap it on. This will give a lot more pigment and a lot more shimmer. So then now I'm going to wipe off my crease brush, get off that color. And so I don't want anything on my crease brush. And then I'm gonna go in starting at the top of the crease and I'm just gonna blend that through so that we don't have any harsh edges. The next thing we're gonna do is take our eyeliner brush. This is an angled eyeliner brush. I'm gonna dip it into my darkest color and then I'm gonna put it right underneath my lash line. This just kind of completes the look and makes it just more cohesive. And then you'll put on what other, whatever eyeliner you want. I'm gonna put on my liquid liner. If you need help with learning how to apply your eyeliner without pulling your eyes, I will put the link to that video below. I made a video for you to show you how to do that and be successful at it so you don't damage your eyes. And then if you want, you can put eyeliner on the bottom. I already put some nude eyeliner and then I put my mascara on already. So we are all set to go. So there you have it, ladies. That is how you pick out your eyeshadow for the day, picking a light, medium, and a dark, 
and I hope that helped you out. I hope you learned a lot and you enjoyed this beauty tip of the day and I will see you next time. Don't tell me